it's my great pleasure to be here with Jeremy Neuner. Jeremy, he, no, no. he, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm really excited. Jeremy just had his first book. Yeah, my first book. Your first book published. Uh, he co-wrote it with Ryan Coonerty. You got it right there. I do. Here it's it is. It's the rise of the naked economy. There it is, rise of the naked economy. And and there's a little guy. Looks like he's naked. It's not me, just so you know. <laughs> with his shoes and socks and a little. But um, you'll be happy to know, I'm not a, that naked. It's just a metaphor. It's not actually about going to work without your. Well, I was on. a little excited about I that, know, Jeremy. I know. There's, a few, <laughs> there's a few people who are, but I I, I will tell you that this Dang is it. this is it, it's but a metaphor for so, what the new economy is. If found. I run around butt naked here at, at Next Space, it will be frowned upon. Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> you, you might. It'll be a mixed bag, probably. Um, there'll be people who will probably won't even notice. <laughs> so who published this book? So it's published by Paul Grave McMillan. So McMillan is a big um, yeah. It's a big New York publishing house. So That's right. it's a, it's a it's a real book. It's uh, a real book because yeah. you know at the bookshop Santa Cruz you can make a book. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> can make a book. Is, this is the uh, published by a big publisher. Yeah, it is a big publisher. Yeah, and it's about um, the changing workplace. It is. Yeah. And you and Ryan know a bit about the changing workplace yeah, because we you're do. co-founders of NextSpace. Correct. A cooperative collective workspace here in downtown Santa Cruz yeah. since October of 2008. I almost have nine total locations now around the country. They keep popping up. They They're do. propagating. Yes. It's a wonderful thing Thank and you. it's a it's it's wonderful but not too surprising because you've touched upon um, with next space uh, it, a uh, a movement that is uh, changing because of the changing um, economy mm -hmm. and workplace environment. For instance, the rise of entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and places as next space that I like to call um, incubators for business startups. Mm -hmm. And that's is that what this book's about? Yeah, it's about it's about that and more. I mean, the, certainly. The, the workplace is changing. Um, the what we like to think about in terms of entrepreneurship is we, we like to we're trying to redefine the word a bit. That here in the Bay Area, right? So, oh, if you're an entrepreneur, you're you're starting to you're looking for ten million dollars in venture capital, and you're going to start the next Google. And we have lots of those, and they're great. Um, we also are very much focused on the say the small one or two person freelance or uh, business who is you know they're, they're never going to be a venture capital target but they are creating jobs one and two and three at a time uh, they're out there uh, applying their talents often in the global marketplace for you know really meaningful compensation so we really want to focus on that sector of entrepreneurship uh, as well and that's the part where you know one of our little catchphrases is that in the future everybody's going to be an entrepreneur right the idea that that we're no longer going to have talent housed in big companies, that talent's going to be much more fluid and that people are going to be, as part of this naked economy, they will work will have been stripped bare, free from all the things that you get in a company, like the commute and the cubicle and, you know, even the creepy office uh, holiday party. Um, uh, and it's just going to be you out there applying your talents and your, uh, and your efforts for compensation. So... Uh, that's how we how we see the world moving. It's it's a big movement that's already begun. Actually, um, by 2020, 40 percent of the American workforce, 60 million people, are going to be these contingent workers, these freelancers, these independent consultants, these entrepreneurs, and um, we we very much need to think about a new economic and social structure designed to 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 support them uh, and to make them be able to work at their creative, productive, innovative best. And some of those ways, I'm assuming you'll be talking about in the book, mm -hmm. are modeling the next space paradigm. Yeah. Uh, we've created a space here, mm -hmm. uh, thanks to you and your partners, uh, that is incredibly collaborative. Um, the, talk about networking. It's the network. Uh, you can't get better networked than when you're here. In fact, a lot of times I tell people that one of the best things about next space is actually the virtual next space mm -hmm. and the lists and the 
the amazing amount of work that is being offered and connecting other freelancers with uh, projects. Um, so there's that virtual component. And then the physical component. The, the way I see the world moving is towards a more collective resourcing where instead of buying 10 printers, mm -hmm. we use the one printer here. Sure. And that we're um, collecting our, our uh, these major equipments in one space that are being used by multiple individuals. Yeah, and it's, it's about, it's certainly about the shared infrastructure, as you said, you know, the internet and the printers and the office space. I mean, that's, that's a necessary part of what we do. Um, but what we're really trying to, trying to achieve is this thing that we call the next space effect, right? Where, as you, as you said, it's, it's more than just networking. I mean, networking is sort of getting to know people and exchanging business cards and maybe you know, uh, trading work or leads or whatever, and that's great. Um, what we're trying to create with, with the next space effect is something that um, a very smart woman named Sarah Horowitz, uh, who founded the Freelancers Union, she calls a new mutualism. And it's not just networking, it's that we all sort of feel responsible for our own individual but also our collective success. Um, and that uh, if, if I'm going to uh, help you out as a fellow next space member, uh, and then maybe you'll either pay it back or pay it forward, depending. Um, but that somehow we're all in this together. Uh, somehow that, uh, that, that in the naked economy, we, we sort of can't go it alone. Um, and it's more than just being networked. It's being, it's being part of something bigger than yourself. It's being part of a, there's lots of words to describe it, being part of a tribe. Um, and, and, and that's what we specialize in, uh, in creating a next space. And, and the rise of the naked economy as a book kind of helps to, to talk through that and then celebrate it a little bit. So you're doing a book reading at the Bookshop Santa Cruz. Bookshop Santa Cruz um, on Tuesday, Tuesday, the 16th of July at 7.30 in downtown Santa Cruz. Um, public's invited. Uh, so we'll be, um, we'll be reading a little bit. Um, Ryan's promised to do some interpretive dancing and, you know, so <laughs> it's a joke. Um, and uh, we'll be signing books and just uh, really excited to have everybody from Santa Cruz come out and help us celebrate the book. There's so much of Santa Cruz and actually so many people from Santa Cruz and Next Space who are in this book and whose stories that we share. Um, so the, much like The Naked Economy, this is a collective effort uh, by a lot of people. So our names are on the cover, um, but there's a lot of folks who, who uh, deserve praise and credit for making this project happen. So come help us celebrate on Tuesday, the 16th of July at Bookshop Santa Cruz at 7.30. And the book is available at the local it's a, bookstore? It's available at all the places you can get books these days. So Bookshop Santa Cruz has some right in the front. It doesn't hurt that Ryan's family owns Bookshop Santa Cruz. So we have a little pride of place there right as you walk in the door. Um, but uh, IndieBound or any of the other online booksellers, you can find it there. And you can even stop by Next Space and... Uh, ah, you're selling it here. Yeah. yeah. 101 Cooper Street. 101 Cooper Street. We'll even sign it for you. Yay. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Thank Jeremy. Thank you, Nana. Congratulations Thank again. Thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you and the rest of the Next Space crew. We really appreciate it. Oh. Uh, I wish you many, many sales. Thank and, you. And uh, maybe another book? Maybe. We'll yeah. see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. That was great. Yay.